We're going to be looking at SAT questions relating to simplifying expressions. Let's take a look at our first problem. So here we have if uh, a is greater than 0, then they want us to simplify this expression. What is this equivalent to? Well, what I can do here is if you take a look, we do not have a common denominator, right? The denominator here is a and the denominator here is 4. Well, a common denominator would be if I multiply the top and bottom by 4 of this expression and the top and bottom by a of this one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4, top and bottom by a, in which case here we get 4 over 4a plus 3a over 4a. And now you'll notice we have a common denominator in the bottom, which means we can add the tops or perform the operation uh, that they give us on the tops, in which case here we get 4 plus 3a divided by 4a. So therefore, 1 over a plus 3 over 4 is equivalent to 4 plus 3a, the entire expression, divided by 4a. Let's try another. So for this problem here, what we have is they want us to simplify this expression. If you omit the x plus 1 and the y plus 1s here, and just view this, this as, let's say you, you view t and let that be x plus 1, and let s equal y plus 1, this expression would be t squared plus 2ts plus s squared. But that factors into t plus s quantity squared. Well, what exactly is t? t is x plus 1, and what exactly is s? s is y plus 1 squared. Collect like terms here, you get x plus y plus 2 quantity squared. So therefore, this expression here is equivalent to this. And again, how I got that is by recognizing that this is this was in this form, right? Seeing the symmetry here and here and here and here and the squares here with enough practice, you can see that it does follow that form, in which case I saw that it would factor into this. All right, let's try another. All right, so look at this next problem here. We have x is greater than 1. They want us to simplify this expression here. Before you simplify the whole thing, you've got to really look at, okay, we do not even have a common denominator between these two values, which the common denominator between 2 and 3 is 6. So let's go ahead and first do that. So what I'm going to do here is I got my 1, and I'm going to multiply the top by 3, and multiply the bottom by 3, you get 6. Multiply the top by 2, multiply the bottom by 2, you get 6. So again here, I just took this expression, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. Now, at least now, we're in a situation where we have a common denominator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these together, and I'm also going to distribute uh, this 3 into the binomial and the 2 into the binomial, in which case we get 1 over 3x minus 3 plus 2x plus 10 over 6. What I would do here is I would simplify... 3x and 2x is 5x. Negative 3 and positive 10 is positive 7. And then the entire expression over 6. So now we're in a situation where I want to rewrite this. This is going to go fraction divided by fraction in the top and bottom. Now whenever you have fraction divided by fraction, you can change the division symbol to multiplication, in which case here this becomes multiplication, but then you have to flip your expression. So this becomes 5x plus 7. So this whole thing, now you're looking here, I want to multiply this together. Before you multiply, you should look to see whether you can simplify anything. Looking here, I have no simplification between any of these terms. So you just multiply top with top, bottom with bottom, in which case we get 6 over 5x plus 7. All right, let's try another. So for this one here, the same idea. You want to get yourself a common denominator in the top and bottom, and then you can, you're going to have fraction divided by fraction. And you can go ahead and use that technique of multiplying by the flip. So in this case here, this 2 is really over 1. This 2 is really over 1. So I'm going to, the common denominator here is x. Multiply the top by x. Multiply the bottom by x. Multiply the top by x. Multiply the bottom by x as well. So top and bottom is by x here. In which case we get 2x over x plus 1 over x divided by 2x over x minus 1 over x in which case we get 2x plus 1 over x divided by 2x minus 1 over x. Again, fraction divided by fraction. Using that technique again, you can multiply by the flip. Those x's cancel nicely, and you get 2x, minus, 2x plus 1 
divided by 2x minus 1. Looking at the final problem here, they want you to find the value of this expression. So first thing to do here is, if you take a look, we've got here the 2y squared. I'm going to, I'm going to expand that out, so we're going to get 2 squared is 4, and y, y to the power of 2, your y squared, plus 2, this becomes 36 y squared divided by 8 times 9y squared. Now notice here the power of 2 only applies to what's in the bracket. So you're not to square the 9, the 2, or the 8. Uh, it's just what is in the brackets you're squaring. Okay, so now simplifying this, we get 36y squared plus 72y squared over 72y squared. And again, we can add these together. These are like terms. So 36 and 72 is going to give us 108y squared over 72y squared. The y squareds cancel. And now this reduces to become 3 over 2, dividing top and bottom by 36. And that gives us our final answer. So this is a brief overview of working with expressions uh, for these SAT questions. Uh, feel free to... Uh, check out the other lessons regarding these. I'll be going through a lesson on each of the chapters. Thank you.